All right, after we have done the reading, we're gonna talk about and answer some questions. So the first question is, what do plants need to survive in the natural world? Well, we've talked about plants before. They need water, sunlight, air, nutrients in the soil, and space. And then how do plants get what they need? Well, their roots take in water and nutrients from the soil. Leaves make their food from sunlight. What do animals need to survive? Do they need the same thing as plants? They do, they need water, food, air, and shelter. Where do the animals get what they need to survive? They get everything they need from the habitats where they live. Without human help, how do certain plants get what they need? How does a cactus get enough water? How does a plant in the rainforest get enough sunlight? Well, plants have structures that help them get what they need. So if you look at the picture, every plant has a different structure to help them get what they need to live. So what structures help plants grow in certain places? Their roots and their leaves. What structures help animals survive in certain places? Their legs, their claws, fur, eyes, wings. Can animals use plants to help them survive? Yes, animals eat plants or use plants for shelter and nesting. What structures did the sloth use to move? So we're gonna come back to the sloth page. He was kind of back towards the beginning. There he is. So think about the sloth and what structures did he use to move? You can see he uses his legs and his claws to hang on to the tree. What characteristics or features does a cactus have that allow it to live in a hot desert? So plants and animals have structures or behaviors that help them survive in particular habitats. Plants and animals get what they need from their habitats in different ways. All right, we're gonna do a quick review. A habitat that is wet and warm where plants will grow and the plants grow very tall is called a rainforest. There's your rainforest. All right. Another habitat that is frosty and dry with long summer days is called a tundra. Okay, a habitat that is dry and windy where cacti live is called a desert. A habitat that has many trees and bushes where chipmunks live is called a forest. A habitat that has open space and grass is called a, do you remember? Grassland. A habitat that is a large place filled with water where frogs and fish live is called a pond. A habitat that is salt water where fish live is called an ocean. All right, thank you for being with me for the read aloud. And I will talk with you later.